Today is Monday, November 14th, 2022, and I need to remember to say the date because we're back on YouTube, baby. I am back. What it do, baby? As previously mentioned, therapy uploads are coming hot and in a hurry. What do you mean by that? Pretty much every day. Kind of like Little Caesar. Pizza, pizza. But unlike a bottom tier pizza shop, we are putting lots of time and effort to make sure you have what my job would refer to as a five-star experience. Psst. Hey, you're you're forgetting something. What? What am I what am I missing? Dude. The date. But I, I already said the date. Today is Monday, November 14th, 2022. Yeah, but like, you know, your your wife. It's your wife's birthday. Oh. Oh shit. Therapy. Season three of 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 therapy. It's season season four coming soon. Okay, so first things first, happy birthday to my incredible wife who is still currently sleeping and will be served breakfast by me momentarily. Aww. Spice. Love you. You're the best, obviously. And uh, we've only been married for around three weeks, but I have no complaints. Everything's been great. Uh, <laughs> because it's her special day, today is going to be a special episode. I'm going to be catering to this woman all day, which she absolutely deserves. But for the next 15 to 25 minutes, I'm just going to do like, you know, my thing, you know, the therapy, therapy thing, uh, if that's all right with you all. So uh, today's episode, it's themed. The theme is birthdays. So I picked some fun posts from r slash dating advice for us to talk about some some great content, I assure you. Uh, we're going to talk, we're going to laugh, we're going to share a little bit, and then uh, I'll let you go. Let me go. Good? Yeah, I guess. Cool. I'm a 27 year old female and I've been on three dates with this really cool guy. So far things have been pretty good. At least I hope so. Uh, but we're taking it very slowly. We've only been out for coffee and ice cream. Would it be super weird if I gave him a book for his birthday? I just wanted to do something nice and his birthday is the next month. So I wondered, you know, why not? Like any advice? This is actually so sad because like obviously she wants to do a very sweet thing. And I think that getting somebody a book is like super low key. I would be super excited if somebody got me a book, even after a couple of dates. I think a book is like the most non-committal, like not super, super serious gift that you can give somebody. It's also incredibly thoughtful to know that somebody enjoys reading and to get them a book that they've been talking about or they've been looking forward to reading. I think it's very sweet and it's really not like I don't see how that could possibly go wrong. Like what a thoughtful gift, you know? My man's 35th birthday is coming up, and I'm trying to write a message for him that's not too cheesy and romantic, but still tells him how much I like him. We've been together for four months, and honestly, it's been the best four months of my life. Aww. So here's the message. Here's to the sexiest Pillsbury Doughboy. It's, it's an inside joke. Whoa. I know. I'm so happy that you were in my life, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. Happy 35th birthday, baby. Wow. These are these are so sweet. I think the people on Reddit, I think they're getting better. Her man's 35th birthday is coming up. She says the last four months have been the best four months of her life. Wow. She's calling him a sexy Pillsbury Doughboy. I'd love to know what the inside joke is. I think that no birthday message is complete without, you know, obviously something sweet, but also an inside joke. Love a good inside joke. Don't get another birthday card for somebody that does not involve some type of inside joke or you know obviously like if you're kind of older like some words of wisdom is cool but no that is not that is not cheese it's not too cheesy it's not too romantic it's sweet it's flirty it's fun great job ma'am he's gonna love it met a girl at a birthday party of a friend. She left when I went to get something at the gas station. Damn! Okay, so yeah, we had a great talk and although she was kind of reserved, I got a good vibe and she also initiated conversations. We ran out of snacks and drinks, so I went for a short trip to the next gas station to grab something. And when pulling up at my friend's house, I just seen her walk by and she kind of waved goodbye. Thank you, come again. I was kind of perplexed and just continued to park my car, not trying to get her number and just let her leave. 
Now I'm questioning if it's weird if I ask my friend if I can have her number or that he firstly ask her if she's fine with me contacting her. We were all in a group chat and I think I know which is her number, but not too sure. But that way I could skip my friend. Should I move on or like try it? Okay, so you met the girl at a birthday party. You're all in a group chat together. So you have mutual friends. You were at the party together. You're talking. And when you ran out to get snacks and drinks at the gas station, you came back and she just so happened to be leaving. And she did see you and she waved goodbye. You were kind of perplexed and you just continued to park your car and not try to get her number and let her leave. Okay, so you were still in your car when she was walking out, when she was waving goodbye. I don't think she was trying to get out before you got back. It might have just been a coincidence. So it's possible that you're just overthinking it. And if you had a good vibe when you were talking to her, you know, just trust it. Trust yourself, pal. Like, it's okay. Okay. Now, as far as should you contact her directly or should you talk to your friend first about it? I mean, you're all in a group chat together. Do it. You know the girl's name. You guys already had a conversation. If you caught a vibe and everything was cool, just ask the girl for a number. But if you don't know which number is actually hers, then yeah, definitely get in touch with your friend and be like, hey, is this her number? And if your friend's like, why? Just be like, oh, we had a really good time and I just wanted to, you know, keep talking to her. Simple as that. You're probably overthinking it. If you guys got along, trust that. I'm sure she just so happened to be leaving when you love to go get snacks and drinks. I know it doesn't sound good, but you know, shoot your shot, brother. Like it's, it's gonna be all right. So I'm a 26 year old female. My birthday's next week. Parents are driving in from out of state to take me to dinner next Friday. My 31 year old boyfriend of four months, I'd really like him to come because I've met his parents and I want him to meet mine. And just because like, heck, 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 it's my birthday. Unfortunately, when I talked to him this evening, he said he doesn't want to come to my birthday dinner because Notre Dame is playing Clemson next weekend and he wants to hang out with his friends. We don't even need men to reproduce. Yeah. He said he'd let me know, and maybe he could come if nobody was doing anything for the game on Friday. And like, I didn't let him know it over the phone, but this really hurt my feelings. I went out of my way to attend his birthday dinner with his mom, even though it was on a weeknight, and he only invited me hours before the dinner. And like, I love him, so I was excited to go. And the fact that he openly doesn't want to come to my birthday dinner tells me that he doesn't feel the same way about me. I texted him later on this evening about my feelings, but he hasn't responded yet. Maybe he's asleep, I don't know. I don't know how to handle this. The only other boyfriend I've ever had told me when he was dumping me that he had never really loved me. He just dated me because I was low maintenance and let him do whatever he wanted. Oh. I felt like such an idiot because I stayed in that relationship for years thinking he loved me. I don't want to waste any more of my time in a relationship with a man who doesn't actually care about me. I know that means I need to hold men to a higher standard for how they treat me, and this is my attempt to do that, like I guess. So, my questions, am I right for being upset? Is this a big deal? Am I overreacting? How can I talk to him, like, productively about this? Even if we were to agree to, like, even if he were to, like, agree to come at this point, I obviously know he didn't want to be there. So, like, how can I, how can I get over that? Thanks. Okay, so to answer these questions, first of all, are you right to be upset? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Boyfriend kind of sounds like a, he kind of sounds like a dick, to be honest. Look, as somebody whose partner is quote unquote low maintenance, like Spice lets me watch football whenever, and she understands that sports, watching sports, keeping up with sports is important to me. And if there was ever something with her family that I just straight up didn't want to do, like I just didn't feel like being there, she may let it slide. Like if I, you know, if I'm like, oh, I have to do the podcast or, oh, there's a big game on, like she would get it. But at the same time, you know, because I love her, you know, I can, I want to compromise a lot of the time. And if we can hang out with her family and have the game on in the background, cool. But if it's her birthday, her birthday, like girl, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. One day a year. It's weird that even, I don't know. It's probably different because I'm married. Oh my God, we get it. But I'm surprised that he even thought that he could say no with a reason like that. Like, look, you're allowed to not go to somebody's birthday dinner or to not want to go to their birthday dinner, but their parents are in town and you haven't met them before and it's their daughter's birthday and you're just like, no, game's on. And look, Notre Dame versus Clemson sounds like a pretty big deal. Maybe he's a big fan of it. Maybe he has money on it, but... What's really annoying about this specific circumstance is that he doesn't even know 
what his friends are doing yet. He says he wants to hang out with his friends. He said he'd let me know and maybe he'd come if nobody was doing anything. So he doesn't even know. There's no, there's not even any plans yet. You're asking him to do something on that day and he doesn't even have plans yet for it. And he's just like, I'm probably not going to want to participate in your birthday festivities and meet your family. He kind of sounds like a jerk, honestly. Uh -huh. So what you can do to answer your questions directly, uh, first of all, you're right to be upset. Is this a big deal or, over, or am I overreacting? I don't want to say it's a big deal, but it could be indicative of, you know, his feelings towards you generally. Like maybe he doesn't really care that much about you. And especially considering your past relationship, you had a boyfriend tell you straight up to your face like, oh, you're low maintenance. I never really loved you. I was just dating you because I thought it was easy. And now I'm bored. I want to leave like that. That sucks. Like, I hate that that happened. So how can you talk to him productively about this? You just got to tell him straight up like, hey, it would mean a lot to me if you were to come to this dinner. There's going to be other football games. And I understand the sports are important to you. But this is really important to me. And my parents are really excited to meet you. And I'm really excited for you to participate in my birthday. So, you know, maybe you do that. And yeah, even if we were. So she says, even if he were to agree to come, she would know that he wouldn't want to be there. Why wouldn't he want to be with you on your birthday? And he hasn't even, he hasn't met your parents at all. So like he should be wanting to do that. So if I'm being honest, it doesn't sound like, he doesn't sound like that great of a dude. Men are trash, men are the problem, da 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 da. And let him know how you feel. Let him know that it's important to you. And if he's still like, oh, you know, I got to check to see if my friends are doing anything or not. Fuck dump him, who cares? <laughs> It just sounds like he doesn't care about you that much. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. Hey, um, so kind of a short one today. I'm going to be honest. And, you know, I'd love to give you more content today. But, hey, like I mentioned earlier, I am uploading essentially every day. New Therapy will be back on Wednesday. Special guest appearance also. Um, love you. Mean it. Happy birthday, Spice. Love you the Love most. Yeah. Mean it. Yeah. And I will yeah. see you all on Wednesday. Enjoy the okay. outro. Thank you so much for joining me in Therapy today. New sessions every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Follow me on Spotify. Follow me on Apple Podcasts. Absolutely free. Give me five stars if you enjoyed. If you didn't like it, I mean, don't do anything. But, I mean, share it. Maybe somebody else will like it. You better go crazy. I'm Lil Dicky if he took rap serious. Black, what I am. Never been to Hogwarts, but I'm curious. Haters see the numbers and they furious. I'm a small man, got big plans, I'm Tyrion. I drink and I know things. One more Game of Thrones reference and you'll shut it off. Send me off to Castle Black, cause I swear to God, I want it all. I want the smoke. All the smoke that I can handle, but I'm not a smoker. Gambling with these investments in my crap, but never play poker. I'm yelling like I'm Meek Mill, so you can hear me. Competition should fear me, I mean it so sincerely. I'm fighting fire with fire so I can stay hot, like, like Baywatch. Just a matter of time till I blow like a Michael Bay plot. You better stop! But I will not, I simply don't know how. I am way too proud, I'm earning my crowd. I have to stay loud, busy on my grind, get used to the sound.